Welcome to Parley's Diesel Performance Product Installation Training Series. Join us now and learn how to maximize your diesel's fuel economy and performance potential. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a Banks IQ monitor in a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta with the 2 liter TDI engine. The Banks IQ has many features and works on both 2 and 3 liter TDI equipped vehicles. Although this IQ monitor is going on a Volkswagen Jetta, Banks makes IQ monitors for a wide range of vehicles. Let's take a look at some of the handy features available on the Banks IQ monitor. The Banks IQ puts a host of tools and information at your fingertips. The large 5 inch color touchscreen is crystal clear. It's easy to read and it comes with intuitive navigation. It serves as a comprehensive set of gauges. It can also monitor your driving and give you indicators to help optimize fuel economy. You can customize your IQ, adjusting the gauges you want to see, gauge colors, styles, and layout. Now let's move on to the installation. Begin the install by attaching the Banks IQ monitor to the supplied universal mount, then plug the USB cable into the Banks IQ. Next, remove the vehicle's fuse box cover. Using a T15 Torx bit, remove the single screw securing the OBD2 port bracket to the dashboard frame. There isn't room on this vehicle model to securely plug the Banks IQ connector to the OBD2 port using the factory mount. Slide the bracket forward to remove it from the frame. Prepare to attach the universal mount to the windshield by finding a suitable place on the windshield for ease of access and viewing of the Banks IQ. Loosen the knob and make sure the suction cup lever is in the right position. After doing a test fit, to find the setting necessary to achieve the correct viewing angle, tighten the knob. Make sure the suction cup and the mounting area on the windshield are clean and dry. Position the mount to ensure the suction cup is flat against the windshield and then push the suction lever down to secure in place. Route the cable down the side of the dash and secure it. We found that the space between the side and the dash was just the right size to route the cable through. Next, using the supplied zip ties, coil up the excess cables and secure the IQ bridge module and cables under the dash without sharply bending or putting stress on the module cables. Make sure the cables are secured up out of the way so they do not interfere with your ability to drive safely. We used two larger zip ties we had on hand to secure the OBD2 connection port to the dash frame. This allows us to easily connect and disconnect the bank's IQ to the port as needed. Connect the bank's IQ wire harness to the OBD2 port. Then cut off the excess zip tie. Make sure the fuse removal tool is firmly in place, then reattach the fuse box access cover. Remove the plastic film from the Banks IQ. The Banks IQ monitor installation is now complete. Turn the key on and start the vehicle. You can see how easy it is to change your gauge settings. We like using the cat temperature gauge as a way to tell when the car's particulate filter is in regeneration mode. Thank you for watching our product installation video. If you'd like more information on this great Banks product or any of our other diesel performance upgrades, please visit parleysdieselperformance.com. And don't forget, you can catch all of our diesel performance videos by clicking the Parley's logo on the screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel.